Before we start this video, I want to give a full disclaimer, okay? Back when I was in prison, I was grimy and I was a slime ball and I had to do what I had to do to survive in prison. And I know, I know a lot of people gonna be like, oh, Dante, you was all cold. No, please understand the things that goes on in prison will not make sense on what goes on out here in the real world. When the two worlds collide, it just will not make no sense. Either you're going to be a predator or you're going to be prey. And before we start this video, I just want y'all to know I was not, okay? I was not going to be prey. Let's get to it. Ah, shit. Here we go again. So Al come over there. He like, Dante, we got another one. I'm like, got another what? He like, you know, we got a white boy. I'm like, white boy? He like, yeah. So for the people that don't know what's going on, Everybody was wondering what was Dante prison hustle. Well, my prison hustle was extortion. So what what we would do is that Al will get word from a guard if we get in like a chomo or somebody that violated a woman or a child in a pot. And how we would do it is once that dude get in his cell, either I'll run up in his cell and break it down to him like, listen. I know what you went here for. Don't nobody else know what you went here for. But the word will get out real quick. And somebody going to run up in here and try to do something to you bad. And, I'll be, and then I'll be like, listen, but I can protect you. Now, as I'm breaking this down to this chomo or whatever, Al and Homicide or Al and Tar T will run up in the cell as we talking with that thing out, with that sword of justice out. And then I'll pull out my sword of justice and I'll bag them down out the cell. So now I'm looking like a superhero to this dang chomo. So he looking at me like I'm God. So I tell him to bag up like move, move, get back, get back. Go towards the edge of the at, at the um, end of the cell. Go over there towards the end of the cell. Go over there by the toilet. So it will look like that, you know, I'm tussling with these two cats and protecting him. All along, we all in on this, right? This is the extortion tactic right here. This is the this is military mind games grade A being displayed right here. So I'll be like, man, watch out, y'all. Watch out. You, this is my white boy. Y'all ain't going to do nothing to him. They like, no, we going to get him. We going to get him. We going to kill him. We going to kill him. So he over there terrified. He don't know what's going on. All he know is three black dudes in the cell. One black dude trying to protect him. And the other two trying to get at him. So I eventually chase him out the cell, right? So I get him about 30 seconds to cool off. And then I come right back in there, right? And be like, listen, I I can't be doing this for free, man. I told you, this is the wild, wild west. This is the jungle. Cats are here. They're going to try to get at you, man. As you just seen, I protected you. He would hear me like, yo, thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. Uh, psh, thank you, brother. Thank you. I'm, 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 if it, I'm, what, what can I, I'm like, listen, take this out. Just calm down. Listen, do you got anybody out there? Like you got a wife, um, a son, a daughter, an auntie, an uncle, a mom, and daddy out there that uh, put money on your books or whatever. He like, yeah, yeah, I, I, I got a wife. I'm like, well, check this out. Do she got cash app? Yeah, yeah, she got cash app. All right, check this out, man. Because you ain't going to make it in here. You're not going to make it. If you go tell the guards what's going on, the guards is dirty and they're trying to take your life too. So I'm telling you, they in on all of this. So he be like, oh, thank you for looking out. I'm like, well, check this out. This is how this going to go. I need for you to call your wife. I'm about to go get my phone. I'm about to go. You call your wife and let her know to send $300 to this cash app right here, all right? And I'm going to need that like every week, like every Friday, like clockwork. I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that. And he like, oh, well, uh, well she, she's on disability but um, I, I'm going to call my mama, too, because she got money. I'm like, oh, she do? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then I walk off, and I go to my cell, and I go get that phone. So then I go back in the cell, and I'm like, listen, all right, call your mama, and 
Well, my mama don't really got cash app. She's kind of old. I'm like, well, listen, you gonna have to, you gonna have to figure it out. Get on the phone, call your wife, call whoever you need to call, and you need to make this happen right here. Here go my cash app right here. Now, listen, if it if it ain't done by by the count when we about to get locked down, I can't help you. I can't save you. So he's like, all right, all right, okay, let, let me get on it, let me get on it. So then I leave out the cell, and I'm like, hey, I'm about to go talk to some of my homeboys to make sure don't nobody mess with you, all right? So then I leave out. Then you got Allen Homicide, a tall T down there. And I'm like, yeah, man, he, he spooked, he spooked. Now, this is, now listen, I know before y'all try to say, oh, Dante, you was a, man, listen, it's just, it is survival of the fittest survival of the fittest man it's uh, the prey the, the weak get rolled on the strong only the strong survive and you know i didn't really have nobody looking out for me and a hey, prison is prison see people that ain't been locked up before y'all wouldn't get it y'all wouldn't understand that there's things that you have to do in there that you might not do out here in the real world, man. The rules is different. You know, penitentiary rules are in full effect. And where they was in full effect on the chomo. So, you know, I go to them. I'm like, all right, y'all, check this out. He going to do it. He he getting on the phone. I don't, they're like, how much he going to get? How much he going to send? I don't know yet. He said he might can get about 300. So, you know, we're going to split that three ways. No, 100 for you, 100 for me, 100 for you. Right? All right, bet. So, that's how we was programming. So, I gave him about 10 minutes. And I peeked my head back in the cell like, hey, you uh, were, were you straight? He like, yeah, I um, I got about 200. I'm like, okay, you got 200. All right, um, see who else you can talk to because I need at least three. I need at least three. He like, okay, just um, g g give me a couple more minutes, man. I'm, I'm going to see what I can do. Then as I was walking off, he said, hey. I said, what's up? He like, th th thanks, man, for having my back. Now, let me tell y'all something. I looked at him and gave him a nod. What he don't understand is that, yo, this is a hustle. Now, I said that I can protect you. But what I really meant was that I'm not you're paying me not for me to put hands on you which he is definitely going to figure out real soon because i can't stop you remember when i tell y'all i can't tell another man how to program see the penitentiary rules goes as forward if you somebody that got bad charges and the charges that he got well his charges well i i can't really say because i want this video to get flagged but his charges was, let's just say, he ended up taking advantage of somebody that was under the age of, hmm, let's say, eight years old. That's all I'm going to say about that. And he was convicted. They found DNA evidence and all that. Okay. So he was dead to rights. So... And, and and before you penitentiary cats get out here talking about, oh, Dante, you was protecting. Listen to the dang story. This was, this was my prison hustle. Right. So he had confirmed it. So he I went back in. I'm like, so you got he like, yeah, OK, I got you four hundred dollars. I got you four hundred dollars. I'm like, all right, cool. OK, bet. So I'm like, all right, check this out. Don't talk to nobody. It matter of fact, you're going to be around me and my homeboys. All right. And he like, oh, okay, what you mean? Oh, oh, I forgot to tell y'all. Al and Tar T ran in there with bandanas on. Like they had like they white tees covering their face. So he didn't really take a good look at their face at all. But, you know, Tar T is really tall. So he kind of stand out with dread. So remember that. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go. I'm about to walk you around and you know, let people know who you is and that you with me. And he like, oh, okay, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So then I was like, hold on, let me, let me the phone right quick. So I'm checking my cash app and it's on there. The $400 on there, right? Now, listen, usually, and I'm going to say usually, usually I can keep this scam going on for about 
two or three weeks before other cats end up getting wind of it. And then, it's, well, there's when the beatdowns come in, right? And they want to get in on the plate. But then, the, but the problem is, you know, you mess with my money. You know, I can't let you, you know, if you get a cat that feel like he want to punch on him, which rightfully so, because what dude is in there for, but you can't punch on them too bad because now you mess with my money now. You know what I'm saying? Dude already got his time. And, you know, I I need me. I Now, when the time that he stop producing, then y'all can have him, which does happen. When I'm applying pressure too hard on the cap and, you know, he sending his people sending me a thousand dollars a week and, you know, start coming up shorts and cats that really want to put them vice grips on them. You, you know, it's like, I, I, I'm i like, hey, if you can't pay, I can't protect you. It's just, just what it is. So, I he walking around with me and I'm introducing him to cats. And, you know, they like, oh, I, I say, this is my white boy right here, y'all. He's good. I'm, you know, he he good. Now, everybody that I'm talking to, they already know what's going on. They already know how I program. So, that just giving them the thought like, okay, when he get done with him, we going to take him. So, we walking around the day room. I'm showing him who who and what is what. Telling him what he can and what he can't do. Don't be telling nobody your name and where you're from and what you went here for and this and that. And, you know, I got him locked down. I got him in my Charlotte's web. So now I'm going to say maybe three days ago by after this situation took place. So you got this dude named Frog, right? Frog was this dude from Flint, Michigan. And he was the type of dude, like, he didn't respect the program. Matter of fact, one of his sisters was violated some years ago. And while he was locked up, he just, he couldn't do nothing about it. And that's one of the treacherous things of being locked up. If something happened to one of your family members out there in the real world, and then you hear about it, and you can't do nothing about it because you locked up, that's one of them big tra tragedies. And, you know, Frog sister got violated. So Frog, every time we get like a chomo inside of the pod, you know, he want to get at him. And he don't really respect that, you know, that we extorting him, and he just want to put hands on him. I guess he he, he want to put vengeance on. I guess he just want to get revenge for what his sister on any chomo, and that was conflict between you know me and my people and him. But you know, it is what it is. You suppose you never supposed to protect the chomo, but like I said, when you out there making money off of them, it is what it is, right? So, a couple of days ago by, and Fraud got wind of, you know, about dual charges. So, he come to me and he like, hey, D, look, I already know what y'all got going on, but you know, you know what I got going on and this is what I do. And I'm like, look, check this out. This is what we going to do. How about... I break you off maybe thirty dollars just, just just to hold off till I get everything I can possibly get up out of this dude. He like, all right, man, look, you you got a couple days, bro. I'm like, all right, look, give me three days. I'm gonna break you off at the store day. You got him, right? He like, all right. So he walk off. So I go to the cell. I'm like, hey, listen, man. Here's a list because I had to go to work, y'all. I said, here's a list right here that I'm going to need when you go to the store. I need this, this, that, that, that. He like, but I already gave you, you know, um, money and stuff. I said, yeah, I know, but I still need stuff. And I can only get a certain amount of stuff. I, I think we can only get like $200 worth of items around that time. So, you know, I had to get some items from him off of his slip, too. So I give him this list. You know, it wasn't really nothing. It was a couple of honey buns, a couple of Pepsis, a couple of summer sausages, you know, a six pack of them shrimp ramen noodles, you know, a little light stuff. So I give him the list. He was like, man, I don't know if I can get all this because I got to get stuff for myself. I'm, I'm like, hey, man, hold up. First, hold on, come here, man. Let, let's talk over here right quick. You're like, yeah, I'm like, hey, let, let me tell you something, dog. 
Then I stopped them two dudes from coming in there and taking your life on your first day here. He like, yeah, I, I understand that. And I'm real grateful. I'm like, man, listen, man, you know what type of charges you got, man. And if word get out there, you that's the last thing you got to worry about is some goddamn cookies and ice cream, dog. He like, man, I, I, all right, bro. I, I, all right. So I'm like, me, I'm like, you know what? Matter of fact, you know what? Stay tuned for part two, y'all. Hey, I'm Dante. If you enjoy my story time, y'all going to love my movie that's coming out in October. But I need y'all help. I need y'all help to help me finance this movie. So if you can, put something in the PayPal or put something in the cash app. And with that, y'all, let's get back to the story. Hey, I'm Dante. If you enjoyed this story time, make sure you hit that like button, share the video, and if you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you want me to promote your business or your social media channels, email me at the Dante Show 88 at yahoo.com. I charge $50 per video. Don't forget y'all, I go live every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time.